Okay. That, I don't need to alarm anymore, because I know that the stream is happening now. Mm-hmm. That's the stream happening over there. Great. Okay, we're here. Good morning. Hooray! Mess us here. Hello. Um. Let's see. Which is these? These? Yes, Reaper's ship. Yeah. Okay. Could be anyone. <laughs> uh huh. Right. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. all right. Great. I was. I couldn't remember what which party we had settled on last time, and then this morning I was reading the walk. I, I try to read the walkthrough just to make sure I don't get blindsided in the middle of the stream by something I forget how to deal with, and the walkthrough was suggesting bringing exactly this party. So, so we're. I'm glad I don't have to like quasi cheat. Anyway, um, I think probably everyone's healthy. Yes. Okay. I mean, in my experience, walkthroughs tend to, like, overstate difficulties on a lot of things. That's definitely true. The, the thing was sort of just saying that, like, Ellie is good to bring along because she's the... She has things. ...currently our best ether attacker. And... In most dungeons, that has not been a big deal, but this one, it might be. Get on the transport ship, yes. And we pretty much, at the end of the last stream, uh, got ourselves ready to go here. Oh, we do have camera, camera panning. What do we have? We have, we're on the ocean. This is a, some kind of weird hoverboat. Hmm. So last time we, we learned that the uh, Ethos, uh, one of their jobs is to kill the Reapers, which they also call Wells, which... Well, we'll see. Yeah, I can't remember if it was ever explained exactly what Reapers are. Just that we have to make them face repercussions. <laughs> Okay, um, I can't even remember what death blows we have here. Okay, we have that one. <laughs> Box boxes blocking the shot a little bit, that's okay. Oh right, and Billy, who has this really weird battle stance. Anyway, he also uses guns, and it, like, says surprise so the big gun is a shotgun Ellie's death blow is probably she does not have as many as Satan just cause we haven't had a chance to use her as much right okay I don't I feel like if we just leave the reapers alone for like two days they'll die on their own if this is a re given the assertion that this is a reaper, because yeah. they are wells. Mm hmm. Okay, let's take a minute and just look at what death blows we have already. What? Oh, okay. We got ship noises. Billy's uh, stance kind of makes me think like Japanese punk. Yeah, kind of. Okay, so, <laughs> so these are the death blows that Billy already knows, and Ellie has nearly nothing. Okay, good to know. And 
I'm guessing the high there is square triangle X, so... Alright. Er, yeah. Okay, so Billy said we have to go hit the light switch. Which means to find how to get there. Whoop. Uh, okay. There'll be a little bit of fumbling around in the dark here, I think. Oh, now we have these things. Uh, okay. Wow. Uh, that's a problem. Uh, why don't you go ahead and just resurrect Billy? And let's try to actually remo remove one of these things. And then, let's see, do you have... Yes. Alright, great. Satan taking double turns. Yeah, Satan's very fast. Satan also might have some accessories... What the that... shit? <laughs> yeah, okay. Satan might have some accessories to making him even faster than normal. Alright. Uh, let's see. And they... They drop some bullets, okay. Let's go ahead and... Use a healing item on LA. We have. We still have things like hob jerky. Yes. Keeping that strength drive around for when Faye wakes up. Ah, uh, that's fine. Okay, so we have to find how to get over these boxes to get to the light switch. Oh, that was unusual. Anyway. There. Okay. We hit the light switch. And some door somewhere opened up. And we have a game mechanic where we knock boxes over. Okay. That's a little silly, but... That seems like a plausible thing that you can do. Yeah. Whoop. Okay. Penguin coat. Let's, let's learn, learn about penguin coat. I think uh, we've seen penguin coat. Oh, we did? Hmm. I think. Like, it was like a male armor oh. versus, that was comparable to a female armor. Right. Uh, it is actually worse than what Billy already has. And Satan already has one, so. Well. So we have a ladder. And then two doors. Uh, I don't know if this is a real ladder. Well, the, yep, it is a real ladder. Oh, now we're out here. There's a big old gun, and... Oh, so we can, like, drop down to the next car or something. What? <laughs> well, this is unusual. <laughs> Okay. Uh, let's see. I, I think that's... Might be a, like an actual 
specific... No? Okay, it's not the one I'm thinking of in any case. Some kind of siren thing. Like, there's definitely a monster that is pretty much just a floating head. With some entrails. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna say it's... A uh, Philippine... It's a monster from the Philippines, as I recall. Oh, okay. Uh, what a weird goddamn encounter, though. Yeah, this is pretty unusual. Um, let's just shoot it. Still going, okay. I guess I could show off some of Billy's other death blows here. I can't find anything on, like, the stances the characters are in. Oh, like... Like, ex that, just like what, like... Ex explanations just the way they for hold why? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because some of them look like actual, like, f martial arts stances, or at least fencing stances. Right. Let's, let's see what's over here. That door is not a real door. What about this door? Uh, yeah, okay. We might be just up going upstairs. Okay, these things were fairly tough, so let's try to remove one of them before we start doing death blow practice. I love the camera panning, like, so that there's boxes in the way. That, that's kind of scary. And then there's the <laughs> goofy circular saw. Um, let's see. What is this? So the problem with death, the con notion of death blows when you're a user that you, or a, a character that uses guns is a lot of your death blows are just shoot them a lot with a gun. But maybe that's okay. Does that change the amount of ammo that is being used? No idea. Uh. Okay, so that enemy actually gives... Wait, okay, yes. Actually gives money, but several of the other ones do not. Alright, looks like there's... we haven't been here, because there's treasure. Yeah, also there's something moving around over there, but... I guess we'll save. We haven't done a whole lot, but it's here. No, it's just like hanging meat swaying with a ship. Oh, yeah. It's kind of gross, but that's what it is. Uh, and this door is... Ah, oh, locked. Wait, can I touch this thing? No. Okay, it's time to use the ladder. Is it B locked or is it just blocked? Who knows? <laughs> uh, okay. Yes. And down we go. Oop. I think that was just ammunition, but let's... It might have been a gun, who knows. Oh yeah, it was... A tiny amount of 
ammo that is better, but only, only three shots for it, so... Okay. And I, this might open the door. Oops. <laughs> it looks like something, a message was trying to appear. Yes, it was, but then we got stopped by a cinema cutter. Which it's kind of funny if the game allows that to happen, but I guess it does. It's probably like one of those message boxes that lets you move while it's happening. Mm-hmm. Also, uh, the fact that they made a background for, like, this specific room, it's a lot of attention to detail. Yes. It occurs to me that I definitely should have used a Omega Soul on Billy out of combat, but I did not do that. Uh... Uh, I think we'll, if, we'll just finish this combat up, and Billy should be out of combat with one hit point, so I'll use the Mega Soul after that. Yeah, so he doesn't get XP here, but that's funny. He was already out of sync with everyone anyway. Right. And use like hob meat on Ellie. That's fun. Okay. okay, that door over there by the save point is open, but I don't think that matters very much. Uh, trying to jump over this table. Nope. So the gimmick here is that you can only move past the meat when it's moved out of the way, so. A little goofy, but sure. Meat is unkickable. This is known. Yes. So, Billy's base attacks do a lot of damage against Reapers, which is uh, thematic. Mario Nine Boat? Where the meat place where the meat is, yes. Reaper ship, it has the meat. I'm just thinking about like how this period in like manga and anime, uh, there were uh, there were like more like random holy people with guns than usually than previously, as I recall. Yes, definitely. This is definitely Trigun era era. Which is the one that comes most yeah, e e easily to mind, but uh, it's yeah. definitely not the only one. Like, I recall a couple others, but the other main other one that's coming to mind is like Chrono Crusade. Oh, oh yeah. Helsing. Yeah. Helsing, yeah, the Helsing is definitely. I mean. The Helsing anime didn't... Helsing was actually a little bit after this, I want to say. But definitely falls into that category. I don't know if it's the It's in the era. <laughs> yeah. See, these doors are not real. They, they don't have, like, little bits on the floor running past them. So that, that kind of simplifies things. This is also a very weird dungeon design. It's locked. Kick it. Uh... Oh. Do I have to run further? What do you want? Uh. Okay, I did it. That was. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely had a uh, design idea for this dungeon, and it's it's only sort of implemented. <laughs>
for giggles. Let's do this. It's the Hell Blast. Okay, that was that was the Hell Blast. So the way that really works is that only the light and heavy attacks use ammunition. The, the medium ta attack is the ether gun, which does not use ammunition. So if you somehow run out, you still can just mash square a lot, and it'll at least do something. Okay, I'm guessing this door is locked. Yes. Oh. Take the left. Manga for Helsing was 97. Yeah. I think even then it ran fairly slowly. Oh yeah. Because like I think when the anime came out the, the, the manga was not finished and the anime didn't come out until like five years later or something like that. Or Yeah. Like I like I was just saying, oh yeah, it definitely was the era. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. I guess we'll just keep saving. We, then we'll jump in this hole. Uh, let's just... We've barely done anything. Okay. We bashed open a door. Yes. Zoop! There needed to be like a... There needed to be a sound effect for that. Wait, what the shit? <laughs> yeah. We have a pallet swap boss. Great. Um, let's see. What should we be doing here? Yeah, uh, I don't think we need to do this, this stuff. I think we're just gonna hit it. Um, I don't know if we need to bother with building up a combo for this boss. Even though, I mean, the last time we fought Red Rum or whatever it was, we did. But, but Red Rum also had like a lot of healing. Yeah. Uh. Oh. Uh, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, well. I think Billy might have some healing spells, we'll see. Okay, that was like a very interesting get-up animation. Yeah, I think Ellie just did some sort of backwards somersault thing. Yeah. So that's pretty good. Uh, out of curiosity. Removes all effects, restores HP. Ah, uh, heal everybody. Also, yeah, this, just, this one just appears to be haste. Yeah, let's cast haste on self. I don't think Satan needs it, and I don't know that it's justified. If we're trying to build up combo on Ellie, like, she only has... Oh, thanks. Okay. Alright. Sure. Uh, healing might not be relevant so far. Yeah. So, the walkthrough said that the boss only casts murder a few times at the start of the fight, so it's not going to just, like, keep choosing that. At least, theoretically. Uh, let's just still use an Soul S on Billy. And then we'll maybe have Satan, start bu Satan and Billy start building up combo. Uh, sure. Now we can build up combo that'll be slightly less useful just because she doesn't have very many death blows, but that's fine. And of course, Satan's gonna build up combo very rapidly. can do is now that Satan has his combo built up, 
can have him cast healing spells. Uh, or do I need to? Oh, I can do this. That's pretty strong. I was just thinking, fighting three of this guy would be nightmarish. That would be very difficult, and I don't think the game will, will ever do that. I think this is just kind of an occasional boss. And in this case, they kind of did recycle the... Uh, um, Gimmick? Yeah, the, the sort of like, oops, we, uh... Didn't have time to design another another one of these, so another another boss to go here. So we're just gonna pallet swap the one from the sewers. Uh, no, it's, it, it's thematic. That it's to show that the guy in the sewers was one of these. Yes, that that is actually <laughs> you know a reasonable conclusion. Okay, so what do we have? We have twenty eight. So six 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 four. Yep. Sorry, six 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 four. Yeah, that, that heals him a little bit, but now we have, uh, let's see, I guess I could, uh, just do a bunch Five, of Five, four, four. Yeah. Oh. There we go. Uh, he has a coin flip death blow. Great. I always yeah. liked this. Yeah. Um, oh, this is... <laughs> I didn't even notice this was uh, Satan again. Um, just gonna hit you. And, um, okay, I guess we're just doing this. up, it's kind of hard to tell what is happening with this death blow. Although it looks like, it, like bubbles coming out of something, but I'm not sure how that works. Uh, it's because she's yelling. Yep. I think I'm probably going to use Billy's heal everybody move here. Just that would probably be for the best. Safety. Unless we win right here, but... Whack. Okay, that didn't do anything. Good. Uh... You... Wow, that's powerful. Yeah, that's that's a lot. Yeah, for just four ether points, that's pretty good. Um, just continuing to smack this guy a lot. Fortunately, he has not murdered anybody recently. There we go. Good morning, crab meats. Crab meats reports that Billy is overwhelmingly good. Yeah, I think they kind of, like, to compensate for the fact that his normal attacks use consumable ammunition... Oh, hey, Cyclone Kick. Uh, they made him pretty strong, and it's not actually that hard to... Uh, keep enough ammunition. I'm not sure what Billy's talking about here. Well, uh, someone just said, I'm counting on you. Yeah. Uh, so I don't think you can interact with any of these computers here. Well, it's kind of weird that it seems like it, it looks like there's a underfloor under the floor. 
And we definitely cannot go under there. Metroid cannot crawl. Uh. What? Or maybe I do have to poke something. Yeah, I think it's the computer you were, like, started at. Uh. Maybe not. Although I got down here via a hole, so maybe we can go through this door. Or... This isn't fight music. Right. Uh... Oh. I, I know what's happening here and it's very silly. Oh, I thought it was just going to be regular artillery. Well, I, I kind of thought about that, but then I thought like... They don't really want to be firing artillery directly at the ship that the party is on. But they can do this, I guess. Oh no. This transport's infested. I like how we're just kind of talking and <laughs> there's that thing in the background. <laughs> just wiggling. Huh? There's something on the wing. Mm-hmm. Oh, hi. Zoop. He even gets the dramatic hero music for it. And the Yggdrasil is also here. I mean, the Yggdrasil always was here. It was just submerged or something. Yggdrasil, important as a place to stand. Mm-hmm. Yep, okay, yep. The giant wells. That is a fuel drain attack. Now, this is the thing that is weak to ether attacks, so we're gonna do it. <clears throat> yes, okay. So, I don't think... Yeah, this tan does not have any ether attacks. Next, yeah, I, can, I can try hitting it, but I'm guessing it won't. Yeah, it does no damage. Uh. Let's see, does. Uh, okay. So we haven't equipped Billy's gear at all, but it comes with a frame fixer thing. But. That's good. Uh, Billy's square in the gear does do ether damage. So, so essentially Satan cannot damage this thing, but but Ellie and, and Billy can't. Or, nope. Uh, yes, Thermo Cube. Um... So Satan does not have a whole lot to do here, since he cannot... Is it, is it only vulnerable to Aether the entire fight? I think so, but let's see. Because each time it says defense down. That's true. Oh, okay, I did some damage. Yes, death blows still work, okay. However... Uh, 
Gonna keep doing this. I thought there was some limit to how many times it would enlarge, but... Uh... Keeps enlarging. That was... Dash, dash, dash! That's a lot of damage. I guess what I could do is turn the booster on, on like, on Billy, because I think he's doing the most damage. But it might not be necessary. <laughs> I really like how, how, how huge it's getting. This is very entertaining. Uh huh. Okay, yeah, that, it's getting into a lot of damage, though. That's true. I think it's almost dead, though. Okay, it's time for Ellie to fix her gear. Uh, and perhaps stop casting those ether attacks. I was just thinking of a boss in one of the... Oh, right, she has air fire one. Well, anyway, let's fix frame here. There's a boss in Breath of Fire 1 that... Like started off entirely like like pixelated in like the censored way. Okay. And as you hit it with magic attacks, it got more defined. But also, every time you hit it with magic attacks, it would gain uh, resistance to magic, but become more vulnerable to defense. And then every time you hit it with a normal attack, it would get more pixelated again. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. I thought this might might have been a fight like that. We had to, like, balance it. Not really. I think you just kind of hit it with magic a lot. That's a lot of experience. Well, it was a giant monster. It was a giant monster. Wait, how'd you learn... Oh, Hakai might be an ether move, not a death blow. Okay. We that get... and... He just gained a level, so he might have been able to use a death blow he'd already practiced. That, yes, that's quite likely. Yep, and meanwhile, back on the Yggdrasil. Yes, if you had gone on your own, then then the boss would have cast murder on you, and then you would be dead. Mm-hmm. Okay. Did we get a free in? Probably not. Oh, I guess one thing we should do is go... Uh, tune up Billy's gear. And then probably... Like, refuel all the gears and just do, do gear stuff. Oh, also... Um, I think... Right, so Primera is just here to... And Primera is here to tell you, to remind you how, how Billy's guns work if you forget. Otherwise, she still can't talk, that's... Hey there, one, two, Bobo. Yep, and also one, one two Bobo is still here. Uh, let's see here. Oh, also, we, at some point we'll have to rename Billy's gear, probably. I don't know if we have a... Yeah, I'm thinking of something right now. Yeah, I, I figure you're on the case. Its current name is Ren Mazuo, which is... which might mean something, but I don't know. Um... And Maslow's cape has physics, sort of. Uh, okay, engine is up to date. Frame is probably not. Yeah, okay. That's fine. No, it's 
What was that? Sorry, I was I was just looking up to see if there was any type of special meaning to Ren Mazua that was listed. Oh, okay. Hmm. I've I've got a backup idea if you, if you uh. I was gonna suggest Miriam. Oh, okay, I was gonna suggest a kitty, but since it's a yeah, let's do that one. That's what, that one sounds rad. Okay. Since uh, I, I was trying to think of a, a goddess that might be associated with ranged battle, and Katie kind of is. I was just like given. I was looking for like old, just Old Testament female names for him, just because he's aligned with Ethos. That's not a. That's also a good idea, but the game's still. Yeah. Gonna, yeah. Yeah. No, that's a better idea. Okay. First, we have to go find. Oh, it's over there. Okay. Um, there's the staircase. Oh yeah, the staircase is over here. Do do do. Uh, yes, here. Now we have to find the guy. You cannot pan the camera, so this is extra challenge mode. You. Yes. Uh, which I don't even I don't even know if I'm if I pronounce this might be Hecate. I've always pronounced it Hecate. Well, it's, it's a but Greek word, so the so the, if you're using Greek pronunciation, the the e is enunciated, so it's at least like Hecate, yeah. Hecate, uh, Hecate. I don't know. Anyway, it's, Hecate. Yeah. Per Google, per, per Google pronunciations. Hecate. Okay, sure. Yeah. Hecate. Yeah. <laughs> there, we did it. Uh, People also ask, is it pronounced Hecate or Hecate? <laughs> so the the uh, second part of, of, of this name is that there is a French sniper rifle that uses this name. Um, and the French pronunci pronunciation is probably Hecate, but, but they're French, not Greek. So we're going to try to stick with the Greek pronunciation. Yeah. Hecate, yeah. Anyway, um... In my case, it's one of those things where uh, it's something I read at a very young age. Yes. <laughs> and now we avail ourselves of the free inn. Okay. Do, do. Um, what we're gonna do? Oh, right, we were gonna go nominally. We're gonna go back to the Ethos headquarters. All right. Still think there's like at least one more party member because we saw swords that we couldn't use. Hmm. As I recall. I think. I'm trying. To, I'm trying to remember roughly like how far through the game we are. We might be approaching the halfway point. Like certainly like more of the game is on disc 1 than disc 2. It's like 70-30 yeah. or something like that. But, uh... Um, even then, like, I'm not sure. Like, there's still quite a lot of disc 1 to get through. I want to say. Okay. Um... Yes. Oh, you were... Yeah, were you about halfway? Yeah, we're somewhere around halfway. Okay. Um, well, we're on chapter... Thir we just finished up, like, chapter 30 of 60. 30 or 35. 
No, we, Reaper's Ship is chapter 32. Oh, okay. There's still that Tower of Babel there. Oops. Oh, right. Random encounters with these guys. <laughs> they have a move called the Airwalk. Okay. Uh, why did that do no damage? Uh, based off of how long the let's play of it was and how it was divided, I'd say we're about two fifths through the game. That's sure. I'll buy that. I mean, that's like 40%? Yeah, I would like to say we're a little more than 40%, but I don't know. Like, the, the pacing of the game's not super linear, so, and like, yeah, yeah like Crab Meat said, you might end up around 70, 80, but you might gain levels at an inconsistent rate, so. And I can't remember which one of these yellow also, dots is like Ethos Headquarters. Uh, might be the one up there. Not the, not the Tower of Babel, but this one. Also, the pacing of the Let's Play might have been very different, just to allow for the fact that it was a Let's Play in 2012. Yeah. Was that even a video Let's Play, or...? No. Okay. Right, they're just dropping extra AR plus four. All right, let's roll the ethos. Oh, the ethos headquarters over there. Which means I have to go find the docking place. So on the other side of this little landmass here. This is some pleasant music. Yep. Just kind of. Cruising around in our boat. I, are, I, these, these have to be piloted, right? Um, they might be autonomous. I don't know. Because if they're piloted. They shouldn't attack us because we're already a, just a giant boat full of people that can clearly defend itself. Mm hmm. I'm inclined to think they are not piloted. Why, in your crazy pod? <laughs> oh, <laughs> your crazy pod accusing uh, Billy of having a bull haircut? Uh, he definitely has a bull haircut. Um... <sighs> but he's a, he's a priest, they're not required to have good hair. Okay. And, and uh, his his gear has a very good walk cycle here. And I guess they, they're all kind of hovering in, in this thing, in this this mode. But <laughs> I like the image of pistol in giant robot's hands. Yes. Oh no. Has there been a murder? No, that guy's clearly alive. Yeah. We definitely can't cast healing magic on this guy. So, 
Well, I mean, if heal magic would have worked, uh, any of these people could probably cast it. <laughs> right. So we're having a little bit of a Doom Sprite kind of effects here. Mostly just because, like, you only needed to make these things once, so... Um, so they're asserting that maybe Jesse came in and shot everybody, but I don't know why he would do that. <laughs> You're crazy Paul asking a good question. Um, for what it's worth... I, w I would absolutely believe that of Josiah, specifically. Right. Like... Uh, for example, Billy's gun is a B and J gun, um, which B and J definitely just stands for Billy and Jesse. So, so maybe his father's shell casings are recognizable. Also, very few people in this, in this uh, uh, area use like hand, like small arms guns. And the peep, given that it's primarily an anti-reaper weapon. Right. Uh, these would be the people who could recognize them. Right. So we walked into the, into the confessional, I guess. But there was nothing there. Uh. There we go. Do do do. But I stand by the fact that Jesse would like literally etch his name and like etch his initials onto each casing. Yeah, he probably would do that too. Okay. Anyway, we have to find which door to go into. And... Uh, here it is. Wog. However... <laughs> there is this guy, who's definitely not Jesse. Uh... Okay, so those guys on the left look like they just came straight out of Sekiro. <laughs> that, that is true. These are definitely, like, ninja guys. Um, and, like, these look like church guys, but obviously they're, they're attacking us, so... Unless they maybe aren't. Let's go ahead and... Beat up. They're just telling you that they love you this much. Yes. An assassin. Uh, again, I'm inclined to beat up the assassins first. You might have abilities like assassinate. Right. Zorp. That's just the ethos one go. Wait, are those guys also assassins? I think they're trying to har harm us, so... Well, I mean, they're labeled as assassin in the upper left. Oh. That's an assassin. The assassin threw a net. Tiny net! And yes, you're, you're crazy, Paul. You're exactly right that, like, like, a lot of these characters that use melee combat and have lots of fancy animations, and then Billy just pulls out a gun. Like, he has several guns, but... Ah, Billy asking the relevant question. Why are assassins that use flagrant ethos logos attacking the ethos headquarters? Uh. Oh, it's the other side of the confessional. Okay. Nope, can't talk to that person. Uh, alright, oh the Ethos Headquarters is a place with way too many doors, so we'll do our best to not get too lost here. And also there's random encounters. So. 
Uh, we might be using death blows just to, like, resolve this. Except for Ellie, because Ellie needs to practice, like, every death blow. But yep. Satan and Billy, not quite as much. Ah, good. Kill you next turn. Why are they talking to the other assassin, though? That's a little unusual. Oh no, Annette. Not death, actually. I think you are a little bit That was half your health. Yeah, it was exactly half our health, so it's like gravity. But, uh. Now the question is, is that half of our current health, or is it half of our max health? We probably won't be finding out this battle, but we might find out later. Because one of those is substantially more worrying than the other. <laughs> yes. I think what I'm going to do is heal Satan a little bit. Not actually, we have lots of Omega Souls or Aqua Souls. Uh, okay, but anyway. <laughs> Okay. Oh, we're at the lat of the library. Um. Anyway, no survivors here. No, oh, jeez. I'm uh, betting that this. Well, that might be a good time for AOE magic. Yes. I think if Ellie gets a turn. Okay. Time for Thermo Dragon. Uh, we want this one. Blammo. That worked fairly well. Yep. It costs a lot of mana, but it does make the fight go a lot faster. It's not like we're using all of our mana anyway. Right. And. Omega Soul does refill mana, so if it comes down to it, we, we can just use one of those. This rate, Faye's going to be kind of lower level than these guys. I, I can't quite remember how the experience sharing works. Up oh, a conspicuously open door. Oh, both these doors are open. Well, let's try this one. Uh, oh, right, this. Okay. Stairs oh no! Conspicuously open. Somehow the leader. I don't think. I don't think. Did we ever meet the leader of the ethos? I, can't I think like briefly in passing. Okay. The Pontiff. Oh no. Since Gnome Bitten's been playing Oblivion, that, that strongly evoked the opening of Oblivion. Where assassins yeah. show up and assassinate the Emperor. Um, need to catch up with last night's dream. Yeah, right. Uh, well, here's, here's the next question. How many people in the Ethos hierarchy are above Billy? Right. There was, like, Father Stone or whatever it was, the guy who run... Yeah, yeah I think he was a bishop. Yeah, Bishop Stone. Uh, 
Who knows if he's still alive? Yeah, right. Or if he's, you know, not actually super evil. What with being a high-ranking member of the church in a Japanese RPG. Right. Uh, let's see. That was rather ineffective. Yep. I guess the Pontiff's just dead. Or didn't die at all and just walked away. Or I guess one, one reason to come down here is see if somehow they didn't get in here and also Faye's not here. What's happening? Um, wasn't Faye in this room? Is he just, like, not? I thought we moved him back to the ship. Oh, right, we did. Okay. Uh, okay, this is... Oh. Yes, Faye is on the ship. Because they got him out of, like, critical condition, and then he was just exhausted. Mm-hmm. Keep meaning to try to demonstrate Billy's coin flip death blow. Like, outside of a... Combo where it's super speed. Uh, which one is it? Is it this one? No, that's the Hell Blast. I think it's his four, I think. Oh, okay. Which is. That's Triangle X? Okay. Uh. There are a lot of moves in this game that look flashy but don't do a whole lot, and that, that definitely is one of them. Well, it's either that, or he brought a squad that's kind of magic resistant. Did you just shoot a coin with, and it was in front of the guy's neck? Yes, that is what happened. Um... Forget where we're supposed to be going, but this probably would have been a good time to look at the compass. But uh, let's just beat these guys up. Uh huh. Ah, for you next turn, I guess. Um, See if there are any de death blows of Billy's that I have. Oh, we're going through a door. Yes, we are. Okay. Um. There's Big Joe. I'm not sure what he's doing here. Anyway, I was going to look to see if uh, we have we've done most of these. Let's be it. Yeah, we've done all of these. Yeah. Okay. Although I guess Billy's next. 
Next death blow is Skywalker, anyway. I have no idea why Big Joe's here. It's part of the Big Joe Everywhere system. Yes. And here's some rando. Are you a doctor? What are you? Alright, this person's been traumatized. Shavat. Okay. Uh, okay. And no being here. Okay. Uh, is this backtracking? The only other area I might look for yes. survivors is just like that upper area where all the refugees were. Yeah, there was the refugee room. You go down to the end of this hall. Now that I have actually bothered to look, look at the compass. Oh, is this just going to be a stairway upward? No. This is an elevator. I can't remember if we ever were here before. Yeah, we'll find out soon enough. Now we're in another place that looks the same. Watch out for head crabs. Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, it doesn't look like we've been here before. Yep, and now suddenly the rest of the gang's here. All the information concerning the yeah, but... Wait a minute, this is Solaris' equipment. Mm-hmm. No matter how advanced you lambs get, Solaris is still better. Wait, shit. Montage of people investigating. Okay. Are we going to worry about that person dying? No! Right. Hmm. Okay. Uh, sure. Okay, so Shakan was a bishop but was excommunicated. But he's still sending in reports. Uh huh. Hmm. Uh huh. I don't know if we've learned what Gazelle is yet. It hmm. sounds counsel-y. Yes. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, yes, the Gazelle Ministry. 
Uh-huh. Casually skirted around slavery. Mm-hmm. Do do do. So if you uh seek help help from the Ethos, they send you to Solaris or something. Well, they send you to the heavens. Right. Mm-hmm. Right, this doesn't answer what all the assassins are doing. Unless they're all, what, 44th salvage plan. Metal Gear. Uh... Okay. Hmm. Okay, it's it's a rogue plan that they're not do that they did without. Nope. nope, we skip a little bit of dialogue here, but something about Zebulim. Yep, that. Ah, this is <laughs> the uh, exposition is obscure, which is okay. Underneath all of the ruins, there are deeper ruins. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, people try to do this all the time. <laughs> yeah, people discover ancient technology every day and try to overthrow everybody else. Oh no. Oh, okay. Ellie actually dealing with that thing we, we ran into. Okay. Is there a save point? No. Okay. Mm-hmm. Zoop. Uh-huh. <laughs> what? <laughs> huh? Ah, a stun bullet. Uh-huh. Hey, your job is to be our front organization, and not to want things for yourselves. Right. So I guess the assassins are probably from Solaris. Yep. You. Okay. I do appreciate that they're going to say judgment belongs to God, but they're not even going to capitalize God. Mm 
We from Solaris don't believe in God. Okay. Mm hmm. They can say that that's what Ethos was doing, but like, over in like the the first continent we started with, that's not really what Ethos was doing. Like they sort of were helping people in certain ways, but they weren't like leading or manipulating them that much. Uh huh. Well, you want to have like a left hand and a right hand type of deal. That's true. The choice of managers was extremely poor. Oh no, someone shot Ver Verlaine. Uh, yeah, it would probably be Bishop Stone over there. Yeah. So, yes. The, the obviously evil priest did turn evil, I guess. Mm-hmm. Wait, wasn't Satan, like, kind of captured and educated in Solaris? Well, yes. Okay. The fact that like Ellie and Satan don't know know about this at all is kind of amazing. Just because there's clearly a lot of people in this conspiracy that have kept it secret for like twenty years uh -huh. at least. Uh huh. This is. I mean, this is kind of a mishmash of things that might be translated poorly but probably were not terribly coherent to begin with uh huh <laughs> I just never told you okay You can't handle the truth. Okay. Um, is it that Reapers aren't evil, or is it that the orphans have been going to become slaves? Why not both? Mm hmm. Guess they should have just shot him. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I mean, the game's doing a lot of things here, but definitely acting like it's shocking that this guy's name originally, instead of being Stone, was Stein. This is, is like. <laughs> it's not like we've heard the name Stein before. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's not some sort of shocking reveal. Like, we already know that this guy was sort of operating under an assumed identity. Knowing that his name was a different name is not, uh... Mm -hmm. Listen, I'd love to torture you to death, but I don't have the time. So here's some nuns. Have fun. Oh, monks. Right. Uh huh. Except these are the same guys. Okay. Um, let's just. I might have Billy cast heal everybody. Just in case there's another fight in short order. This, yeah, this might not be the last scripted fight. <laughs> yes, hello, Watchful 2. This is definitely a game that loves to uh, 
um, emphasize words by uh, in in ways that don't always make a lot of sense. The fact that they brought so many assassins to this job. I think they're just calling them assassins. They're not like super like skilled or anything. They're just like, let's get 50 dudes and put it, give them some claws. Yeah. I mean, it is definitely the uh, the ninja rule where a, a giant crowd of ninjas is not very powerful. But one single yeah. ninja would be very powerful. Yeah, just slap some claws on a guy, fill him up with combat drugs. Let's see. You going here? Obviously I'm supposed to, like, go up here. Oh wait, this is the same room. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, we didn't, we just kind of left that room and a bunch of things happened. Mm-hmm. You know, shoot the computer? Come on, shoot the computer. Remember, this is this is all the uh, the basement of the Ethos headquarters, and they somehow had this giant like cerebro thing. Oh, can shell. Uh, let's see, this appears to be a misspelling of Arc and Seal, the French word for rainbow. Yes. Oh no. I'm not sure why they would conclude that, that, that the Archon shell would go after the Thames, but... Mm-hmm. Just so that we know the stakes. Yeah. There are people at risk. Important people. Men of the sea. Ah, uh, yes. 2000 Charles. It, it's possible that one of the flying cities is here. Come on. Give us a cutscene of the uh, the big donut. It's less what in the heavens are happening and more what is happening in the heavens. Meanwhile, on the Thames. Do, do, do. Oh no, beams. Uh... Oh, there, there it is, okay. Chokes on you! We can just pull them all back up! We've got the equipment! Oh good, it's been a while since we've heard from these guys. <laughs> I love these guys. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, okay. but, like, I assumed that these were the Gazel. Yes, I think this is the Gazel Ministry or whatever it is. Uh, okay. Hmm. Might as well get rid of the church. Yep. Hmm. 
Krillian. Who's Krillian? It's only a molecular machine. Humans, machines, whatever. <laughs> so yeah, I love, I love those guys because they show up and just sort of speak in abstractions for a while and it doesn't make any sense and then, 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 then that's, that's it. But then later, thinking back on it, it still doesn't make any sense. Right. 20. Okay. Clean up is at eighty percent. Up oh, here's Krellian. I don't. I don't know. We've we've met Krellian before. I think I'd recognize that hair. Yes. Okay. Lambs three, five, and eleven are damaged. Whatever that means. Okay. Uh huh. Shock troops are entering entering Zebuim. Okay. Okay. Karelian is a misspelling of Karelin, named after Tetsuya Takahashi's favorite character from the book Childhood's End by Arthur C. Clarke. Oh, okay. Meanwhile, the captain of the Thames definitely just calls out the, the orb as being a fishbowl thing. Mm-hmm. Yes, they're they're sending reapers out of, out of the fishbowl thing. Chekhov's big gun. We mentioned it. We mentioned it earlier. Time to fire it off in Act Three. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We'll show them how real men of the sea retreat. Yes, the captain's great. And Hans get to gets to drive because the captain has to go shoot a big gun. <laughs> so they're, they're literally using like these <laughs> This is very low rent. Uh. Uh, I think those are like other giant ones. I guess they're probably supposed to be big ones, yes. Oop, here we go. Oh no. Mm hmm. Okay. Oh. Faye's still sleeping. Faye's missing all the action. Uh, Faye's still a higher level than everyone else anyway. That's that's true. Um, I think I'm still going to stick with this party, though. Yeah, let's just do it. Ah, oh, we get to save. Well... Okay. Uh, yeah, sure, launch the image still. Does anyone probably just should... firing a BART missile now? No, why not? <laughs> yep. One thing I wanted to do... Hold on. Uh, 
is... Music is now too chill for what is going on. Is equip Billy's gear a little bit differently. Like, the We did just get, like, a new gun for him. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, the GMA6 gun? I don't know, um... Oh, right. Um... Yes, yeah, going rank A to rank AA. Sure. Ah. And also, whoop, frame switching from frame HP fifty. Actually, that's fine. Um, with this B circuit, increases the agility in snow. I don't really need that. Um. Yeah, let's just give the give it a response circuit. And what's... One day we'll be in a snowy desert, and then we'll be, like, super prepared. Uh-huh. Use tan frame HP 30. And... Oh. The extra AR plus 3 should become plus 4, at least. And then... We have a... Uh, we'll answer it's fine. Okay. That was what I wanted to do. Um, um, I think the Thames is down to the southwest. That sounds plausible. And we, we still get these. I might actually need to go buy ammo for uh, Billy's gear, so I might take a detour into the gear into shop. the ship. Yeah, to uh, yeah, because it's not like it's super expensive. No, I don't think it won't be expensive. It's just, I don't want to be in a gear fight and run out, run out of ammo. That would be yeah. Fun. I didn't buy any uh, when we were doing gear tune-up last time. to buy weapon. Yes. Okay, so these things actually do have 100 shots when you, when you buy them. But, uh, let's just buy, like, two of each. That should be fine. Um, they have a lot of these things, but I don't think we... Oh, let's see here. I think some E-circuits would be good. That Those might Relevant eventually. Okay. And. Uh. Okay. Everything else, everything else is fine. Okay. All right, with that detour done, we can resume steaming directly towards... Wait, is the... Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Finally, my big break! This game still does remember what jokes are, so that's good. Okay. Am 
Ah! Big sea monster. I guess we'll, we'll punch it. Ah, did not deal, da deal damage. That one did for some reason. Okay. Ah, the death scythe. Death scythe failed to do anything. Satan learned a new um, spell. spell. I think this time. Yeah, the yellow yellow is spell, but left we'll like I'm not gonna look at it right now because we'd have to like get out of our uh, get out of, out of the. Sub it would be a pain. It would be a pain. Yes. So. Do do do. So the death ball is not even on camera, but it presumably is nearby. I assume it's up. Yes. And we do not have free free camera panning, so Maybe the airwalks were developed to like keep down the population of the giant sea monsters. Yeah, maybe. I think and have gone rogue, or we're just badly programmed to include, oh, this thing is clearly a giant sea monster. I would have expected there would be more of a scripted event here. Um, let's go to the bridge. Everything okay around here? You're like a monster, okay. Mm-hmm. On, oh, what's, what's the scoop? It'll do north. Okay. All right. Wells from Babel Tower, really. Okay. Anyway, so they say to go north. Okay, so the wells were uh, probably accidental things that Solaris made while doing stuff to people. Most likely. It's not clear how they would get to be the size of the gears, but, you know. Super science is a hell of a drug. Yes. So 
Well, I guess we'll head north. Uh, yeah. Logical to you has a theory about what Polaris' plan is. Sure, that, that would make sense in a way. <laughs> Thank you for that, TK, TK Cat. Uh, make my labor force grow! Mm -hmm. so I think we need to go over here and land the Yggdrasil. Okay, and let's save before we head in there. Yeah. I think we should be able to get a little ways into whatever this is. Oh, this chapter is burning... Oh, that... Oh. Bur <laughs> so Burning Souls was probably the, the chapter where we got a text dump about how the ethos is evil or something. Ethos is evil, but also is trying to revolt against Solaris, which is also evil. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to dodge the question entirely and tell you we should just take the elevator. You can talk while going down. Maybe. Nope. There's no music. Just faint, like, bell rigging. What? Gibbler? What's Gibbler doing here? Uh, I'm going to punch Okay. They did call it explosive ammo, but it clearly was a grenade, so... okay. Um... Oh right, we're not in our gear. Let's look, look and see what that spell that Satan just learned is. Hey, cut it out. Well, they just keep killing Billy over and over again. We want to check the spell. Uh, I was going to do it out of, out of combat. Oh, okay. Okay. So first we'll use an Omega Soul on Billy. Uh, everybody else is basically fine. Um, you. Roku show. Ah, it's a... Uh, it, it's half of uh, Nasuna. Yes. Okay, so here's a room with just one room. Okay. One door. Weak to gun, yeah. Yep, cutscene. Graf, what are you doing here? Under the sea. 
Under the sea. I think this is the first time we've had a shot that's graph inside his gear. I can't just stand on the outside of it underwater. His armor would get it all squishy. Mm hmm. Ah, okay. And Graph, are you, you going to say anything, Graph? Or are you just going to... Okay. <laughs> All right. Graph just wants to wiggle with Menace for a bit. Yeah. Um, well, it's clearly it's not the bottom, but... Let's see what we got. Nice initial camera angle there. Oh good, three doors. Let's just go right to left, I guess. Uh we are underwater, right? Or are we? Oh well, we're know. we're down in a mine. Yeah, this is a mine. We're below sea level, I think. Definitely. Cavern City's Wait, you know it well? How do you know it well? Uh, when we were buried in that vast mausoleum. Zip. If Ellie wasn't here, would anyone have said something? I don't know. Are there random encounters here? Maybe not. Is that a... Yes, there are random encounters. Um... Oh boy, we have... We also have the... The shell bell over there. Um... I think I might just have Ellie cast fire all on, on these things, whatever they are. Um... I'd say lightning at a guess. Sure, we can do lightning. You know this thing can cast sleep on everybody and we don't want that. You still might- Wait, what? Yeah. Cast Rasp. Yeah, but it looked like he just kicked you in the junk. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Maybe this won't affect everybody? Who knows? Nope, it did. Okay. Sleep! <laughs> These are hammerheads, but they have a very unusual fighting style. Um, uh, let's see here. Fair enough, Chachi. Good mm -hmm. to see you. Okay, good. Dealt with that issue. They're like shedding something, then kicking it at you. Yes. Uh, what did you you wanted lightning? Yes. High voltage. It healed them for six to seven. Okay. That, but that might mean they're weak to the opposite of lightning. Uh, attempted. To, I cannot choose to shoot Satan to wake him up. So. Oh well. Uh oh. Okay. Maybe. Oh, I think it might just. Uh, absorb the uh, all ether attacks. Let's yeah. Before we let's try maybe just a single instead of an area of effect. Um, although I've barely damaged any of them, but um, uh, 
Oh, yeah, okay, we're just going to assume they absorb all ether attacks. Uh, different characters say different things here. Cool. I guess Satan's, like, out of range for them to do anything to, like, wake him up. Anyway, let's just... here though. Oh, wait, that, that was definitely not enough. Not correct. Okay, oh, it's still still. Great. That might have been the first time I did Cyclone Kick. So I think it was. Enjoy Cyclone Kick. It only has a lot of flips. Um, let's go ahead and use an Omega Soul. Oh, there's also a... I could also use a Tent. There's a save point right there. That might also... Well, let's go ahead and use a Tent, and I think that this might be a good place to call it, because yeah. this is a large area. Yep. Okay. A large area that's probably full of bosses. Well, I don't know about that, but... Anyway. Also, thank you for that data, Rock Bottomless. Yes. Okay. Uh, but Ellie yeah. seems to have some background here. Mm hmm. Ellie at least sort of knows something, but that's that's pretty common for this game. Um. Anyway, yes. Yeah, so we uh got a big text dump in the middle there about Ethos and Solaris, which is always entertaining. Church is good. No, church is bad. Yes. <laughs> Okay, but that'll be all those new gears for now. Thanks for joining, Masters. Uh, Thank you, Burnthead. Thanks for all the viewers. Hope you had a good time. Yep, and we'll uh, see you next time.